August 1st, 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, France is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Karl is one of them. A few days after Karl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away Emil as well. A heavy-hearted Emil was called up to fight and left the farm for San Miel. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. goes well. Rely on our neighbors for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. At the train depot in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at Platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be his truest friend. 
Atento a la menor. August 21st, 1914, Emil's regiment was sent to fight against the 71st German Division led by Baron von Dorf. The general cheer of the first hours dissipated into the fear of first combat. <laughs> Miss Marie Chayon, Private Emile Chayon from the 150th Infantry Regiment, was wounded by enemy fire on August 21st. He has been captured by the enemy. Hopefully, you shall receive news from him soon. Freddy, originally from America, enlisted voluntarily in the French forces at the start of the war. Behind his bravery hid a man already devastated by the war's effects. A man with one sole obsession. Punish those who had destroyed his life. 
It was at the Battle of the Marne that Freddy finally picked up the trail of the regiment commanded by Baron von Hof.
Thanks to support from British forces, the German plan failed. The front line moved back to the north, and with the arrival of winter, froze. Soldiers holed up amid a vast labyrinth of trenches and tunnels that would become the indelible image of the Great War. Karl's regiment retreated to the outskirts of Neuve Chapelle, the same camp where Emile was being held prisoner. We live in a climate of uncertainty. Germans use the people of Saint Miel as human shields against the French bombings. I hope the Germans treat you well and that your wound has healed. Your grandson sends you kisses. I sent you a picture of him. All my love. Please write soon. Adieu, Paul.
The British troops continued their attack on Neuve Chapelle. Their next objective take back Port Arthur. Oh. 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 
Merci, mon ami. Tout right now. Carl Louis von Dorf. Yeah, come this Amidst the never-ending attacks and counterattacks, Freddy and Emil hunted the elusive Baron and his regiment in Ypres. On April 22nd, 1915, chlorine gas was used for the first time by the Germans. Go, go, go!
Thank you, my friend. Can you help? Don't worry. Anna, a Belgian student living in Paris. She was hard on the trail of her missing father. For once, fate smiled on them. They were all going in the same direction. But while approaching Vimy, a German squadron spotted them. Ah! <laughs> 
Von Dorf had escaped again, but Emil had still managed to find medicine for Freddy. They were quickly back on the road again. Their journey would take them to Rans, where they would at last pick up the trail of the elusive Baron and his Zeppelin.
Ah! <laughs> 